Hi guys, welcome to Asian Petro. Today we have the 2022 Hyundai Santa Fe. I know you guys are getting Hyundai Santa Fe with only five seats in North America, but here in Korea, we get Santa Fe's with either five or even with seven seats. And starting with 2022 year model, we now get Hyundai Santa Fe with optional six seats. So without any further ado, let me just show you the uh, second row seats. Okay, like I told you, for 2022 year model, now we have the Hyundai Santa Fe with 6 seats. So two, 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 lovely uh, looking and very comfortable captain chairs in the middle. Uh, really loving the uh, two-toned uh, white and gray. Uh, looks really nice, but uh, looks like you're going to be busy cleaning them all. Um, I'm about 6'2", and there's good amount of leg room, and headroom is... Pretty good. You can also adjust the uh, headrest like this, so quite comfortable. Um, Size-wise, I think it's a little bit smaller compared to the ones from Hyundai Palisade. It also slides. That was where I was sitting quite a bit and also reclines. And we also have an armrest uh, that you can adjust like this. So when you are not reclining, you can go like this. So yeah, right about. That's pretty comfortable for me. Uh, you can straight walk through here. Uh, I'm going to show you uh, how we get through the uh, third row seats pretty soon. Uh, we also have uh, two air vents here. They have added uh, two cup holders here, uh, two USB charging ports and two two board charging. And by the way, uh, Hyundai is charging you about uh, direct conversion. There's no uh, international pricing, but Direct conversion, Hyundai's asking about 630 US dollars for the uh, six seats option. So guys, do let me know whether do you think it's worth the money in the comment section. We also have a two stage heated seat right here. Window comes down, well, all the way. And it's also double laminated uh, because this is the uh, top trim model, um, which is pretty nice. Even my Hyundai Palisade only has a single window for the second row passengers, so pretty good. We also have a uh, you know, large, uh, some shade for the side and LED lamps, reading lamps here. And we also have a large paramount sunroof on the top. Okay, uh, now let me just, uh, we also have a 10 speaker sound system by Corral. So we're gonna let you hear pretty soon that you can walk through here. Um, that's what I do with my kids. But if you don't want, there's also a button on the top. You can really see it. Uh, but if you're a kid, let's say uh, you have a child, you're, if you cannot reach there, you can push here. There's a button on the bottom as well. So let me just quickly show you the uh, third row seats. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we'd like this. Uh, that's not too comfortable for the second row passengers. But like this, um, headroom, yes, it's, my head is touching. But legroom, I think it's going to be pretty all right for, you know, short trips. Uh, let me just show you what we have here. We also have a headrest here, so you can, you know, rest your head like this. Um, when you're not using it, you can also fold it like this. Uh, there's also cup holders, some storage area here, events on this side, and to the right, we have many, many things, uh, including fast USB charging port, air vents, climate control, you can control the fan speed or turn it off, cup holder, some storage area can also fold the uh, second row seats from here. I think this is for the use, uh, you know, at the trunk, but it's, it's certainly there. Uh, 12 volt charging. So space wise, I think it's pretty all right for children. Emergency cases only for the adults. But if you want two comfortable captain chairs in the middle, then you have to go with six seats. So guys, do let me know what do you think about the optional six seating configurations in the comment section please. And if you're enjoying this, please like this video and subscribe so we can grow this channel together and have more fun. Okay, now let me just try to get out. Yeah. Okay, now let me just show you the engine room. I know you guys are getting Hyundai Santa Fe with 2.5 liter four cylinder and also with 1.6 liter turbo based hybrid and also plug-in hybrid in North America. 
Really envy you guys because we just do not get plug-in hybrid here in Korea. Rather, we're getting it with either 2.2 liter diesel, 2.5 liter turbo straight out of new Kia Stinger, lovely unit, or 1.6 liter turbo based hybrid. A tester came with the hybrid. Uh, 1.6 liter turbo alone makes about 180 horsepower, and there's also 44.2 kilowatts electric motor. So the Total system output comes out to be about 230 horsepower. Engine made it to six speed automatic and you can also get this car with optional all wheel drive system, but a tester just did not come with it. Okay, now let me just show you how fast this 2022 Hyundai Santa Fe hybrid can be. Okay, let's take the ESC off, two stage, first one and Second one, put the car into sports among the three, full throttles, go. Wow. <sighs> you have to do that again. We have lots of calcium chloride on the floor, so it's quite slippery. The first attempt took 10.4 seconds, but I think you can do it a lot faster. It's just so slippery right now. Let's just give it one more try, okay? Okay, this time let's leave the ESC on and put the car into sports mode and go. Still slipping. It's a very slippery day here in Korea. It's pulling very nicely, although it feels a little bit heavier compared to 1.6 liter turbo. Um, took 8.6 seconds, so I think it can do around uh, 8 seconds in even time. Uh, late seven seconds but pulling the car quite nicely can even feel the uh, torque steer and definitely 44.2 kilowatt electric motor we're going to talk about how it drives soon but it's giving a really nice assist <laughs> lots of calcium chloride on the floor Okay, now let me just quickly show you the front design. This is the facelift model. So we have a new T-shaped area right there. Sort of does remind me of Volvo system, but sort of turned around. So guys, do let me know what do you think about the new DRL design. We're gonna talk about headlamp pretty soon. Uh, we have a new grill pattern in the middle because this is the uh, top spec model. Chrome strip in the middle, skid plate, more openings on the bottom, and that's radar sensor for the adaptive cruise control and air curtains on this side now let me just show you the uh, headlamp system working in action that's drl headlamp high beam turn signal there's no fog lamp and this is what horn sounds like all right guys and looking at the car from the side small windows near the eight pillar side mirrors are bolted on the side to give you better visibility we also have painted wheel arches. So guys, do let me know whether you like painted wheel arches or not in the comment section. Chrome strip in the middle. And if you see closely, the door covers the, all the way to the bottom. So even in snowy conditions, it will not get your jeans dirty. So that's pretty nice. And we have a large openings on the top and a tester is wearing a cross contact by continental it's wearing 235 55 by 19 on front and back so now let's do also check out the braking performance then a bit more speed no problem there we go yeah lots of calcium chloride on the floor it took Hyundai Santa Fe Hybrid about 149 feet to a complete stop. Felt stable and confident, but you know, it snowed a lot here in Korea and it even rained a little bit this morning. So the floor is really, really wet and slippery. So I don't think it really means much, but I think it's gonna handle quite nicely. So look forward to give you the corner. So stay tuned guys.
And looking at the car from the rear, we have additional brake light up here, rear window wiper, really wish it was a hidden type Hyundai logo, LED combination tail lamp, but really wish even this middle section would light up. I don't know why not. Uh, Hyundai Santa Fe right here, that's backup lamp and turn signal. So really wish it was incorporated with the uh, tail lamp right there. Skid plate, uh, hidden type muffler, extra muffler is located on the right bottom side. Um, seems to have a berth tie for the uh, license plate. And we also have a fixer flat kit and some tools. And let me just show you what we have under here. Battery placed here for, you know, what do you call it? Uh, weight distribution purposes. Pretty nice. And just put it here. You okay, know, of course, for the uh, third row seats from here like this. And and also release the second row seats like this. So it's almost full flat. So where's the battery for the hybrid system? You know, it's usually located under the second row seat somewhere around here. But for this Hyundai Santa Fe hybrid, they have placed it right under the second row seats. It's really interesting. That way, you can have the... Uh, sliding second row seats okay and now let me just show you the car from the driver's seat okay before we go out to drive it let me just quickly show you the car from the driver's seat nice headliner on the top material check soft touch hard plastic soft touch hard plastic hard plastic soft touch soft touch soft touch so i think it's Pretty nice for the class. We also have a good leather steering wheel. We have adaptive cruise control buttons on the right side, media controls on the left side. We have a silver buttons. It looks pretty good, but sometimes it can be quite reflective. And to the right, we also have lots of physical buttons and dials. Uh, I do like it. It's very easy to use. Uh, we also have a button type dials on the bottom. Um, it does remind me of, I think it's the same size. It does remind me of a button type gear selectors from Palisade. It's right, it's all right down here, but these buttons, I think it's a little bit jammed together. And uh, like these ones, uh, can be quite reflective. I, I don't know, I think if they chose uh, like a black buttons from my Hyundai Palisade, it wouldn't be so reflective, but these are quite shiny. So if the direct sun hits it, it kind of bothers you. So yeah, that's a little bit, but it's really nice that, you know, Hyundai did not use high black glossy materials along the sides. Really like, uh, like the uh, silver, garnish used right there. We also have a uh, one cup holder right here. Uh, this is what key fob looks like. We also get uh, remote parking assist, so that's pretty nice. Um, two cup holders and really love the uh, wireless charging pad that goes vertically like this because my Hyundai Palace said I, I put it like this, which takes a lot of room, but this one you go vertically down like this, so just takes about only that much space. So I really like it. Uh, you also have lots of uh, storage area with the extra tray. Um, it also, it's a good Santa Fe feature. Also uh, some storage area right there. It's, it does not move. So that's pretty good. Uh, we also have uh, two large screens, 12.3 inch for the gauge cluster. And because this is hybrid, we also have a charge eco power meter to the right. And uh, right, here in the middle, it also gives you energy flow right there. See, it's charging, idle, charging, idle. So that's pretty good. Uh, we also get uh, three drive modes, Eco, Sports, Smart. Uh, like I told you, you can get this uh, 2022 Hyundai Santa Fe Hybrid with all-wheel drive system, but a tester just did not come with it. But, you know, it's going to return better efficiency. And to the right, we also have a 10 and quarter inch infotainment screen, very quick to respond. And because this is hybrid, it also gives you this uh, energy flow right here. Let's zoom in. Let's see, charging. 
right there. Uh, also give you fuel economy in more detail, electric motor in use. Okay, so we also have a two events. And what else? Uh, we also get a uh, good storage area under here with 12 volt charging and one fast USB charging port. And uh, ambience light uh, is right here on the tray and along the side. Okay, I think I told you everything about the car from the driver's seat. So let's go out and drive this 2022 Hyundai Santa Fe Hybrid. And I don't know if you can hear it, but it has to make this, you hear it? Mm. <laughs> Spaceship sound, two more new pedestrians. Because right now we're driving in full EV mode which is very smooth and quiet, okay? But once again, really wish there was a EV button somewhere around here so we can choose when to go full EV for you know Hyundai Santa Fe and other Hyundai models. We do not have any EV buttons, so the car will just try to go into EV mode as much as it can, but that's yeah, very good. What about visibility? Visibility is quite nice in here. We have large windows all around, like we told you, side mirrors are bolted on the side, small windows near the A pillar. So visibility is quite nice in here. We also have blind spots, alert system, and also alert system, which will greatly help you during your lane changes. And sitting position wise, it's not too high, not too low. So it's really easy to see out of the car. So yeah, it's quite pleasant place to be. Yeah. Now let me just put the car into sports mode and let you enjoy it. Pushing the car very nicely. You might say, you know, 1.6 liter turbo might be too small for this hybrid Hyundai Santa Fe, but we have 44.2 kilowatts electric motor giving a nice assist. So it just, from the bottom, it just gradually pushes the car very nicely and smoothly and feels stable too. <laughs> Can I tell you how fast I'm going? But it really pushes the car nicely. Wow. Feels stable. <laughs> Better slow down. Um, and many of you asked, you know, whether do I like Hyundai Santa Fe Hybrid better or Hyundai Tucson Hybrid better? That's a very good question. I mean, I like the spaciousness of this uh, Hyundai Santa Fe. So if I had just had to choose one family SUV, then I'll probably go with this Hyundai Santa Fe Hybrid. But if I'm looking for an efficient hybrid SUV that I would use mainly for my uh, commute by myself, then I would definitely go with Hyundai Tucson or even Sportage Hybrid because it's it's roomy enough for myself and also because power to weight ratio it's just same powertrain right so it just feels better Ooh. so yeah I can definitely feel the uh, weight and size of this Hyundai Santa Fe uh, when you compare it to uh, Hyundai Tucson Hybrid. Engine is made it to six speed automatic. Yes, not dual clutch transmission, good old six speed automatic. We're also given paddle shifters. So let me just show you working in action. Three, four, five, six. Really wish we had a little bit more gears. Five, four, Three. So yes, it's not the quickest, but it's shifting quite smoothly. Yes, to be honest, it's about a second delay every time you shift. But, you know, this is supposed to be a hybrid SUV. So I think it fits quite nicely with this Hyundai Santa Fe hybrid six gears. And since we're on the highway, let me just show you adaptive cruise control working with lanes, keep assist. As you can see, it's a very delicate system, placing the car right on the center and also keeping a safe distance with 
the car in front yeah doing most of the work for me saying you know keep your hands on the steering wheel so even before that you should always keep your hands on the steering wheel and this Hyundai Santa Fe hybrid feels stable even on very very high speed and because we have double laminated windows for the first and second row passengers so it feels quite nicely isolated a um, little bit better than the uh, Hyundai Palisade uh, not really uh, I mean it feels better from the uh, the windows side windows but Hyundai Palisade actually feels quieter from the bottom yeah. and as you can see it's it feels very stable even on very very high speed okay let's do check out the handling capability let's go with their gear sounds good Ooh. <laughs> taking very nicely uh, it understeers quite a bit and ESC then engages and catches you I think because we have the battery up front so everything is top heavy so if you really push it the the back feels quite light so uh, it will start to understeer and the ESC just catches but I think that you know the chassis feels quite plenty you know solid and tires are gripping quite nicely but like I told you because the the heavy nose uh, it will understeer but let's try one more time on this hard left and tell you more about the handling let's try one more time Ooh. <laughs> I told you uh, it starts to understeer but ESC is there to catch you um, I told you our tester did not come with any all-wheel drive system but if it did I'm sure it would um, change how it behaves around the corners but you know if you ask me I'll probably get if I were to get a hybrid model um, this Hyundai Santa Fe hybrid that would probably get it without the all-wheel drive system because you drive this car for efficiency so I would probably get it without the all-wheel drive system but uh, you know let's just put it back to uh, EV mode right now we're driving over 100 kilometers uh, per hour but if you're careful it will go into EV mode um, so yeah I mean I told you it will right now the engine kick back in but uh, yeah it will just try to go into EV mode as much as it can but really wish we had EV button right here so I think this is a very capable and spacious efficient uh, hybrid SUV and really hope to see a uh, you know, hybrid model for Kia Telluride and Hyundai Palisade soon in the future that would be very lovely and let's also do check out the efficiency of this 2022 Hyundai Santa Fe hybrid it has returned about 36 miles per gallon in the city and over 44 miles per gallon on the highway so yes it's very efficient for this size SUV but like I told you Hyundai Tucson and Kia Sportage is a little bit more efficient but I would say it's very very efficient good job all right guys this has been a test drive with the 2022 Hyundai Santa Fe hybrid with 60. So guys do let me know what do you think about the new six seating configurations in the comments section and thank you guys so much for tuning in we'll be back with much much more so if you love cars and car reviews please do support us by subscribing to our channel and also hit that bell notification so you don't miss out in the future. Thank you guys see you soon stay healthy and bye bye.